Hi, so today I'm going to be talking to you about iMovie Basics using photos, so we're going to make a kind of a, a slideshow. So start off by opening iMovie and clicking New Project under File. You're going to create a new project and pick a theme. We're going to start by picking No Theme and then click Create. So now you can see that we have an area to work with and the bottom bar shows where we can upload our videos. If we're going to be using videos today though, we're only going to be using pictures. So I'm going to click on the little camera icon and click iPhoto to find pictures I found in iPhoto. So I'm going to drag in some pictures. Um, here's a picture of my rabbit, a picture of a horse, and a picture of another rabbit. So I'm going to make kind of a little slideshow video with these today. So I'm going to add a little title, so I'm going to click the text button and then add a title, pick a background for the title, so I'm going to go with the underwater theme, and then I can double click on the blue bar on top of the theme and it will show me the text, and then I can double click it, and then I can type whatever I want to type there. So I'm going to type my pets because this is some of my pets and um, there I have a title. So now I want to add some title for my picture of my rabbit. So I'm going to scroll down to find the right text that I want and I'm going to drag it so it covers the entire video. Then I'm going to type in Jake is my rabbit but it's too big so I want to make the font smaller. So I click on the fonts button and I pick what size font I want. But then I also want to change the color so I'm going to change the color to green and the font's kind of boring, so let's make that something fun too. Then I'm going to click done when I've decided it's all done and that's how I want it. So that isn't actually a picture of my horse, so I'm going to highlight it and then delete it. And I'm going to go and find another picture of my dog. And I'm going to insert that between the two pictures because I want it there. So that green bar will appear and then I'm going to drop it there. So now I'm going to add some text to that picture. So I'm going to go and find the right one that I want to use and I'm going to click it and drag it up over the picture and then I'm going to change the text to say Nimak, my dog. And I'm going to finish it. I like that font. Um, and then on to my next rabbit. And I'm going to pick whichever font I want to use. I'm going to use that one because it's pretty cool looking. And I'm only going to use the beginning because I don't want the text to go over the entire video, just the beginning. And I only want one line, so I'm just going to use one line. So now the Ken Burns effect, which is where the picture gets smaller or bigger, you can pick which way you want it to go, is still on that picture. But I don't want it, so I'm going to change it. So you can have the Ken Burns effect and you can choose where it goes to. You can clip it, or sorry, you can fit it where you use the entire picture or you can crop it to only use one part. So I'm going to fit it because I want to use the entire picture. So now my video is just about done. I just need some transitions so it doesn't just go from one picture to the next. So I'm going to find some cool transitions and put them in between each picture. Okay, now that I have done the transitions that I would like to use, um, I'm going to add my credits at the end. I'm going to choose stars as the background because it's starring. And um, I'm going to put each animal as who they were. And since I'm not going to need the last line because I only used three, I'm just going to highlight the text and delete it. And then I'm going to press done. So as you can see, that's done. Now I want to see how my video looks before I export it. So I'm going to click on the little play button within a box and it is going to show me my whole video. Because of the way I had to record this, it does look a little skippy. It would not normally be this skippy, but you get the main idea. 
so now that I've seen my video, I want to adjust the transition of the first one because it was way too fast. So I'm going to click Transition Adjustments. I'm going to change the duration from half of a second to one and a half seconds. So I'm going to change to 1.5 and then I'm going to click Done. So I'm going to press space bar wherever my cursor is to watch and see that transition. And I like it much more. Now I want to make this clip longer. It's only a second, but I can't just drag it because there's already stuff in front of it. So I'm going to click Clip Adjustments and change the duration from one second. I'm going to put it to two seconds so it's a little bit longer. And then I'm going to click Done. Now I want to make this clip of Namak look cooler. So I'm going to go to Video Adjustments. Sorry, I meant Clip Adjustments and then I'm going to change video effects. So you can see there are a bunch of effects here that will add different effects, whether it be like grains or different polarizing effects and stuff. You can change them. You can move the windows so you can actually see what you're doing. And um, just put your mouse over whichever one to see how it would look with your video. And then once you've decided on one, you click it and click Done. So now I've seen my transition and I've decided I like the way that looks even though it does look a little bright and I am so far pretty happy with my video so I'm gonna click share I'm gonna export the movie so here you can pick what size you want it to be if you want to put it on your iPod, iPhone, Apple TV, computer, mobile me, or YouTube but I just want to have it on my computer, so I'm going to put it in HD, which usually takes a little bit longer to export. Save it as My Pets, and it's going to go to the Movies folder. I'm going to hit Export. Now, because this movie is only 16 seconds long, it's not going to take very long to export. But they can take up to an hour if it's a longer movie.